John Paul Jones, The Boss, and Nintendo are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is September 23rd, 2022. It is the 266th day of the year. You got 99 days left. It is the 38th Friday in the 38th week and the second day of fall. You got 89 days until winter. If today's your birthday, your birthstone is still a sapphire. Today is Restless Leg Awareness Day. On September 23rd, Restless Leg Awareness Day promotes education around a medical condition impacting adults and children alike. Professor Carl Axel Ekborn, a Swedish neurologist, first described this syndrome in 1945. We have learned a lot about it since then, and there is still no known cause for it. The condition affects approximately 7% of the population. Those experiencing severe symptoms say it impacts the quality of their life. During the night and evening hours, symptoms increase. Yeah, I guess it can get pretty bad. I just always, you know, kind of shake my one foot and leg while I'm thinking or typing or something like that. I don't think I really have it, but uh, yeah, I guess it's pretty bad. All right, let's see what else September 23rd has given us. 1641, the Merchant Royal, carrying a treasure of over 100,000 pounds of gold, is lost at sea off Land's End. That's in Western Cornwall, England. That would be worth over a billion pounds today. 1779, the American Revolution, Naval Commander John Paul Jones of the United States wins the Battle of Flumborough Head. 1780, the American Revolutionary War again. British Major John Andre is arrested as a spy by American soldiers. This exposes Benedict Arnold's change of sides. Here we go, talking about Benedict Arnold again. 1806, Lewis and Clark returned to St. Louis after exploring the Pacific Northwest of the United States. I've talked about Lewis and Clark before on this channel, and it is a very interesting story to me. And I was really looking forward to this movie that they had planned on doing. And it was supposed to be a big budget thing. It was supposed to be a great movie. And then it kind of got shelved. And then it got revived after the pandemic. Instead of being a movie, they decided to turn it into a miniseries on HBO, which HBO does great miniseries, and they always team up with Tom Hanks, which this is one of his things. He's got a production company called Playtone. Well, this is something they're working on. It's a six-part miniseries based on Stephen E. Ambrose's book, Undaunted Courage. Now, Brad Pitt and Edward Norton both have something to do with it, and so far they say that Casey Affleck, Ben Affleck's younger brother, is playing Meriwether Lewis. So as I was just researching this thing, I went down that rabbit hole and I found out a lot of things about it. Number one, it was supposed to be filming in 2016, or actually before that a little bit, but they started looking at the script and they decided it was too expansive. There was just too much going on and it was too big of an undertaking for the script that they had. So they had to go completely back to the drawing board. So while they were at the drawing board, the pandemic hit. So everything kind of got shelved. And in 2021 is when they started working on it again. But as of September 22nd, 2022, uh, they haven't even started production. So who knows if we'll ever see it. If we don't, I think it would be a tragedy. 1889, Nintendo is founded as a playing card company. Yeah, they start off just making playing cards. 1942, World War II, the Matanikau action on Guadalcanal begins. U.S. Marines attack Japanese units along the Matanikau River. This was a pretty ugly battle, and they kept landing Marines on this beach, and they were getting pushed back. And I watched this interesting story on the History Guys channel. The History Guys has a really good channel. He's got about a million subscribers and he just tells really good stories about history. And he talked about these two Coast Guard men who volunteered to do work with the Navy because the Navy was running out of people to run these landing craft. And this guy went above and beyond. The two of them actually, one of them didn't survive. But when they should have been going back to the ship to return their boat, they saw that some of the Marines needed help. They turned it around, these little tiny boats that happened to have machine guns on them, drove the boat with one hand and fired the machine gun with the other to help cover the Marines as they tried to make their way to safety. Very interesting channel and very interesting story. 2002, the first public version of the web browser Mozilla Firefox is released. 2019, the British travel company Thomas Cook Group declares bankruptcy, leaving employees without their jobs and 600,000 customers stranded abroad. Now, I saw that it's 600,000. I also saw a report where it was only 150,000. I think it was 150,000 abroad throughout the world, and there was a whole bunch in different cities or different parts of the United Kingdom when it totally collapsed at a moment's notice. 
Nobody knew. People are on vacation. Then they saw on the news that the company had ceased to exist. And there's some videos up on YouTube of the last flight. People were on the last flights home with the company. And one of them, the pilot was crying and, you know, said he appreciated everyone. And, you know, sorry it had to go out like this. Hotels around the world were stuck with $450 million in unpaid bills. Here's the most alarming part of this. The company was in existence for 181 years. Yeah, it was founded on July 5th, 1841. Premiered on September 23rd, 2005, The Ghost Whisperer. I really like this show. It's about a woman who communicates with the recently deceased and helps send their message to their loved ones so they can go on to the afterlife. The show ran for five seasons and aired a total of 107 episodes. It starred Jennifer Love Hewitt, Jamie Kennedy was on there for a while, Aisha Taylor. It was a really good show. Its final episode aired on May 21st, 2010. Born on September 23rd, 1949, Bruce Springsteen, known simply as The Boss. This rock legend struck fame in 1975 with his critically acclaimed album Born to Run, and then again in 1984 with his rock anthem Born in the USA. He won his 20th career Grammy Award in 2009 when his song Working on a Dream took the best solo rock vocal performance. Before fame, he felt a deep alienation while attending high school and didn't appear at graduation. He failed his physical examination after being drafted in into Vietnam and never served. He performed with the power trio Earth in the late 1960s and in 1971 he performed with Steven Van Zandt and Steel Mill. He still performs to this day. Died on September 23, 1939, Sigmund Freud, father of modern psychiatry. He was known for analyzing patients' dreams and then he theorized that dreams themselves were forms of wish fulfillment. Before fame at the University of Vienna, he studied zoology and in 1876 he spent four weeks at Claus Zoological Research Station dissecting hundreds of eels. Sigmund Freud got cancer and by mid-September 1939, Freud's cancer of the jaw was causing him increasingly severe pain and had been declared inoperable. He turned to a doctor friend that he had known for decades and decades and reminded him that they would never, they made a pact to never leave each other in the lurch, as they put it. And he said there was no point in going on, he was just suffering, and he wanted to end it. Freud's daughter wanted to postpone this, and she knew her father's wishes, but she wanted to postpone this, and the doctor friend had convinced her this was the best thing for him because he was in nothing but pain. She finally agreed, and he went over to the house and administered heavy doses of morphine that resulted in Freud's death around 3 a.m. on September 23rd, 1939. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.